I'm Casey. Welcome to Epilepsy Thursdays. And as you know, this entire month, I will be talking to you regarding how to deal with the people that you know or come across in your life, how to tell them that you have epilepsy and when would the appropriate time be to break that news to them. So uh, last Thursday, I spoke to you about when would the appropriate time be to tell your partner that you have epilepsy. Ideally, according to me, it should be the fifth or sixth date because by then uh, you are at least aware of what the other person is like, whether you can gel with them or not. So uh, yeah, that would be the appropriate time to tell them. Of course, by then you would be able to trust them as well. So you would know that, huh, yeah, I can confide this uh, to him or to her. So yeah, fifth or sixth date would be the ideal date to tell them, provided that goes till the fifth or sixth date. So it is of utmost importance to also tell uh, your partner as to how to deal with you. In the sense, how to take care of you post an epileptic seizure. What happens is uh, many a times, yes, they are aware that you have a seizure, but they have no clue how to deal with it or how to take care of you post a seizure. So many a times it's like, oh my God, she's getting a seizure. He's getting a seizure. But what do I do? I have no clue. So they, they are helpless. They are of no use because they have no clue what to do. So you have to be understanding enough. You have to be mature enough to sit them down and explain what exactly happens to you and how to deal with it. Many a time still date, yes, it has happened with me. Well, not with a partner, but with a co-worker that they have done an onion. Yes. They got an onion so as to they could make me smell it and I would get back to consciousness. So I have already done a video um, regarding uh, onions and chapels and how they don't work. But uh, yeah, so you have to talk to people and tell them that such things, such myths do not work. They are just that, myths. And how to do, uh, like every person needs to be dealt in a different way. For me, I need to be told, I need to be hugged and I need to be told that I'm safe. Now this thing is common with everyone. I've already done a video in the past as well, but I was talking to people, strangers who might come across another stranger who just had an epileptic seizure. So uh, yes, you can tell them that you have to create a safe environment around that person. But at the same time, you have to be strong enough to take care of yourself as well. Many a times we can't do that, yes. But uh, not every single time you're going to get a person who will take care of you, right? So today I will be talking to you about uh, when to tell your co-workers that you have epilepsy. Uh, normally, I would suggest that you tell your boss on the very first day or rather before actually accepting a job. That is what I do. I tell them before accepting the job. Now, it, it is okay. It is fine from their end. They are ready to hire you. And that is when I tell them that, listen, I have epilepsy. I get uh, epileptic seizures, which are fits. I get them. This is, this is what happens. This is how you're supposed to deal with it. And yeah, so if you're okay with hiring someone with uh, epilepsy, go ahead and hire me. I know there is always this chance of not being hired at all. But uh, yes, it breaks my heart as well when that happens. I have been rejected because I have epilepsy. But that just made me more stronger. It just makes you stronger. It just makes you like, it's, it's good. It's better in a way that you're not working in an environment wherein they don't accept epilepsy. Because as I have uh, previously 
mentioned in so many of my videos already that epilepsy does not have a calendar it's not gonna be like monday 5 pm i'm gonna get an epileptic seizure no that doesn't happen it can happen anytime during day night it doesn't matter when or where it's gonna happen you might get a seizure and if you are working in an environment where we, they do not accept people with epilepsy it's better that they reject you before you start working rather than you put in your efforts and then they fire you yes that happens as well <laughs> so um it's always better to be upfront about it and tell your boss uh, that i have epilepsy and i am on medications i do take them on time but still i tend to get seizures whenever regarding your co-workers uh, you should tell them as well because maybe your boss might not be there to help you but your co-workers who sit around your table or who you're working with on a close physical proximity they should know that you have epilepsy because they'll be the first ones to rush to your aid so yeah till next thursday stay strong keep fighting my fellow warriors Let's kick epilepsy's butt, become more strong every single day. And as always, stay happy, stay golden. Mwah! Love you.